mistakes here and there. If they can be sound in this game, look out. Michael Rubino puts toe to leather, and we're underway. Ball 11 career interception. Third and 10, empty backfield for the Red Wolves. Plenty of time for Hanson. Tries to hit his receiver over the middle. Can't. Was looking for Brandon Bowling, and he'll bring up third down. So three and out quickly for this Appalachian State defense. Appalachian State has done on special teams this year. Grace, Vin catches up with this one. It does not take a positive bounce. Takes a great Appalachian State bounce. And then a scrum for the loose ball. But the Mountaineers are going to get it in great field position here early. So after a 10-yard punt, Appalachian State takes over. That's Moore, and he's going to be hammered in the backfield. He won't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. That's Thomas is going to have to hurry to get it snapped, and he does. Goes out to Moore, out the flat. He drops it. Now the pitch to Murray. Gets by one tackler. Gets out of bounds near midfield. Another first down. The first first down of the game for Arkansas State. Nice. The Red Wolves will operate quickly as they try and get this game going with a little tempo. Quick fake. And a slant. Was the catch made? Kirk Merritt says it was, and the officials agree with him. What an excellent job by Justice Hansen avoiding the pressure, stepping up and throwing a bullet to his favorite target, Kirk Merritt. For either team in the game. Murray inside, swallowed up for a loss. Anthony Flory was there to take the freshman running back and put him on his backside. Ruby puts a toe into it, and the Red Wolves in front of their home folk. Thomas in the pocket, now rolls, tries to hit more out of the backfield and falls incomplete. Took a shot, and that's exactly what Joe Cawthon wanted. He said, let's make this quarterback uncomfortable. As he delivers the football there. And... Howell puts a leg into it. It's a good punt. He's got the win behind him, but not very high enough for Warren Wong. Now to make the first couple of players miss flag down as Wong gets the 45 and close to midfield. Let's check on the flag. And the minute of Warren Wong in the backfield. Hanson back to pass, almost picked off. Keen Davis Gaither knew that one was coming. 11 career interceptions, but he's also returned a punt for a score this year. Good kick into the win by Grace. Fair catch. Signal for and made by Duck. Thomas, the fake handoff. Under pressure, gets his pass away. Incomplete after a big hit. P.J. Edmonds. Applied the pressure on Thomas. Great job of tracking that football. It's so important for a defensive back. Can you see the ball in the air and break it up so you can get some pressure on Thomas? And it's important to be able to get those big. Back play now, Clayton Howell. Will punt once again. Warren Wan awaits this one and receives it at his own 27, and he's hitting me. Look wide at the top of the screen. Hanson. Looks like he's going to tuck it and run. Try and pick up the first down on his own, and he won't get there. Caleb Sperlin is there for the stop, and it'll force Arkansas State to punt once again. Be Grace. He gets a good punt here. Duck receives it as 18, and he's hit immediately. So Arkansas State on defense. Can they continue to contain Jalen Moore in this offense? And they do on first down, dropping Moore for a loss. Forrest Merrill, 92, my man. Thomas's pass has a receiver. And they hook up. That'll be a first down, the first first down of the game for this App State team and Henry Pearson. Second to carry coming into this game. Thomas back to pass on third down. Sutton fell down, couldn't keep his feet. Jeremy Smith once again there on coverage. Clayton Howell once again get the punt off. This one takes an Appalachian State bounce initially. Covered at the 25-yard line in that center. Jacob still guilty of the infraction there. Now quickly outside to Merritt. It's an opportunity to see his speed and his athleticism. Fake to Murray. Up top. Makes one man miss. Omar Bayless on the reception of first down for the Red Wolves. Right there, narrowly missing. I feel like it's only a matter of time until they get their hands on a ball. Back out to Merritt. Well, they're giving him a little bit of a cushion. Hanson. Now again, we'll tuck it and run. 
but can't seem to make a move to get past that second level. Snap and hold and good. Rupi puts his leg in. He's got enough distance. And he nails it. Here. Over the middle to his tight end again. Colin Reed. And that's a nice pick of about six yards on first down. Evans finds some room and finds a lot of room to midfield. Now cuts it back, gets by one defender, spins, gets by another one, and he'll take it down to the 27. So an App State team rock that was over on third down before that conversion gets a big gain out of it, 39 yards for Darrington Evans. And that's just how quickly it can happen. They do a great job, Arkansas State pushing back with him, one missed tackle. And then a guy like Aaron Darrington Evans, who has 4-3-7 speed. You get Back in the game for App State. He'll take the handoff. Gets through to the 15. Keeps us feet to the 10, to the 5. Powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown, App State. Oh, he got rolled up on. This is ugly on that ankle. Yeah. This is ugly. Yeah, we don't need to see that one again. That's... Uh... Tough, tough injury right wide. Armand way, way more of a bigger, powerful back. And Marcel Murray, the freshman. This is Reed Tyler. And he's going to make a big gain of it near midfield. A first down for the, for the Red Wolves. Ten. Fake the handoff to Juan. Quickly up top. Completed to his receiver. That's Bayless. Inside the 35. Down to about the 35. It'll be a first down for the Red Wolves. Hanson fakes to way, way. And tries to hit his receiver. On the quick slant, and Tate Hayes has none of that. Omar Bayless couldn't connect, and App State will take over. Pass for this Mountaineer team in this game. And again, going out of the back, into the backfield, nothing. Darrington Evans maybe picks up a yard before Jerry Jacobs is there to make the stop and force the fourth down. From where it was at the start of the game, gets this one up a little bit. Nice hang time, forces the fair catch from Warren Juan. Fake to Wayway, Hanson. Now flushed out of the pocket, hits his receiver at the 40. To the 35, that's McGinnis. Pushes the defender off. Out of bounds at the 25. McGinnis is a 6'6", 206-pound Canadian. Can you see him with skates on? <laughs> Zip on that pass as well. Murray spins his way close to the first down, but he's going to be short. He'll bring up fourth and a yard. Goes on the day. Puts his toe into this one, make it three for three. Arkansas State retakes the lead, 9-7. Fake to Evans now. Going up top to Jalen Virgil, and he's gonna make the catch. Virgil with just his fifth catch of the year, and a big play in the passing game for the Mountaineers. It was a three-man route. They went max protect, gave Zach Thomas a lot of time to, to throw this football. And Virgil just went up, snatched the ball out of the air. And that's the mark of a good wide receiver. Thomas back to throw. This time going up top to Sutton. He makes a heck of a catch. Touchdown. throw and then the catch back shoulder throw Zach Thomas plenty of time and then Sutton does what he does best contorting his body that's a fantastic <laughs> catch empty backfield with Juan split up top oh picked off intercepted by Hayes inside the five huge play for Appalachian State under two minutes left to go in this half rock they're set up once again in the red zone real close to jumping one earlier and finally he gets his chance. Look at that. He's going there the whole way with the ball and Tay Hayes knows it. he's a smart football player and just a critical error by Justice Hansen. Evans takes the hand off. He's swallowed up in the backfield. He'll lose yardage. Thurman and Chambers were there to put the stop on him. Wow. Evans again. The handoff. This time he gets in. Quickly outside to Jonathan Adams. He'll pick up a first down and step out of bounds at the 41. The fake to Juan. Now he's got a lot of room to run. To the 50. To the 45 and down to the 43 goes Hansen. 
Hansen, back to pass, goes up top to fight to Merritt. That one's going to be picked off. Josh Thomas picks it, goes down at the 15-yard line, but that'll squash any scoring opportunity the Wolves have before the half. As I said at the beginning of the game, if he can stay clean and not force the ball and, and find a way to not have those interceptions, they have a chance. But just put the ball up, it's an errant throw, and App State does what they do, make plays on defense. To seven different receivers here in the game. Evans, nowhere to go. Slipped a little bit before he got to the line of scrimmage. Then he was swallowed up. Fake to Evans. Out here into the flat, complete to his receiver, Malik Williams. Close to the first down, it'll be two yard shot. Bertori. Fake to Evans. Thomas flushed out of the pocket. He's got plenty of room. To the 40 and out of bounds at the 38. Jerry Jacobs with the stop, and a flag does come out. For Zach Thomas into a bad decision. Thomas to throw. Will he tuck it? Yes, he will, but he won't get the first down. Kick is on its way. And no good. He'll be split wide right. Hanson looking to throw. Flushed out to his right. Can run if he chooses to do so. He does, but he won't come anywhere close to picking up the first down. Has a touchdown earlier on in the year. Set to receive this punt from Cody Grace. Good high kick. Setting Duck all the way back to his 10. He'll let it bounce, and it takes a great Arkansas State bounce. What a punt by Cody Grace. Show me the pipes. There they go. They get the playoff. Thomas looks to quickly get it out dangerously. Intended for Vert, or Malik Williams rather, but that was knocked away at the last second by Jeffrey Gibson in 49 yard line to receive this punt. Wobbly end over end. Won't get to Juan, but it does take an App State bounce. Juan thinking about picking it up. Let's it go, and it takes a huge Mountaineer bounce and rolls all the way down dead inside the 30. Coach Anderson and his crew. Hanson pumps. Now looks to his right, goes to his progression and can't hook up with McGinnis. Once again, put a foot to it, and he just shoots a howitzer down the field to duck. No chance to return that one. The handoff to Evans, watch out, to the 30. He's got a blocker in front of him, can he use it inside of Arkansas State Territory, 25 inside the 25-yard line. Another huge run by Darrington Evans before being pushed out by Justin Clifton Thomas. Oh, a tight end, and this is going to be, yeah, maybe a jump pass. There is, and a completion for a score to Colin Reed. Pounding away the run. Just one for 11 on third down on the night, making one for 12. Demetrius Taylor supplying the pressure, and Hanson just had nowhere to go with that football. Game and give App State a long field to travel, and he'll get him, give him another one, too. Another great kick. Thomas gets the snap. Pressure coming. He goes down. William Bradley King knocked Thomas down. Thought he might have gotten him a little high. Officials didn't see it that way. It'll bring up fourth down as we wind the clock down to finish the third quarter. Wow. He came around the edge. Look, it just took like a right hand just Jack Thomas right in the chest. Or he, oh, he got him in the head. We start the fourth. They'll get the football back, though. Clayton Howell with a punt. Warren Wand on the receiving end, and he isn't going anywhere. Play now, what can this Red Wolves offense do? Hanson fakes the pitch, and it's intercepted. Expert who just made the play on special teams comes down with the INT. It's Hanson's third of the game, and it sets App State up in good shape. And the back end has just been fantastic. I mean, just enough to maybe get in that window. I'm not sure if he got a hand on it here, but Guess three. Who? Yeah. Akeem Davis Gaither got a hand on it. In three interceptions on the day. This defense isn't big, but they fly around great in coverage. They seem to know where, where you know, just spatially where things are on the field. They know the coverage schemes. Thomas. Going to go for it all down the right sideline for Virgil. Over his head. Jeremy Smith on the coverage. Warren Juan back to receive this punt. Clayton Howell. Good punt. Hangs up there. Juan having to call a fair catch at his own 12. 
Hanson, the fate to the fresh Marcel Murray. He's going to go down, though, in a heap. And right there, Chris, that was a, a freshman tight end tack. 87 comes across, just misses him. Man out of Charlotte, Marcel Murray now out of the backfield. Hanson pressure comes again over the middle. Hits his receiver, that's Merritt. Makes a couple of men miss, gets near midfield. Hanson keeps it and he'll be dropped. No gain, he may have even lost the yard. Jermaine McDaniel was there to meet him at the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth and three. Ready to step up and make a play here for App State. Justice Hansen out here to his back. Murray out of the backfield. Not nowhere close. Third and seven. Williams. Oh, I'm sorry. Bad call on that. Zach Thomas with the keeper, and he might take it to the house. He does. Thomas faked me out. What a call, too, by Thomas and a decision to keep it on the carry. 62 yards, Rock. That'll be on December 1st. Trying to find Omar Bayless. Thomas Hennigan back to receive this Cody Gray's punt. Low wobbling kick. Well, Hennigan thought about coming up to retrieve it, thought better of it. It'll roll dead. Just about the 30, 25 yard line. Williams trying to get to the line again, will not do it. Acquitted themselves quite well. Howell. Low punt, but drives Wand all the way back to the 22 where he picks it up. Makes the first couple of men miss. Flag comes down as he's dropped at the 32. The dude's been unbelievable. They have JT Barrett all those years and they bring in Dwayne Haskins. He's, you know, in a, a lot of ways. They got Georgia State coming up on the 18th. Don't sleep on the Panthers either. Say, Panthers playing well also, yeah. Arkansas State. To go back to drawing board, especially on offense here. Justice Hansen has got to find a way to play better. Scott Satterfield and Blake Anderson meet at midfield. That young man, Zach Thomas, had a heck of a game. Three total touchdowns, and the Mountaineers come to Jonesboro and pick up an important road win in conference play.